Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're going to be going over some of the attachment changes and some of the new sort of best setups for a lot of the weapons in the game. I'll be going over the specifics of some of the attachments and why they're good and why you should use them over some others. I will also be showing you guys some things that were not mentioned in the new patch notes regarding the bolt action sniper rifles in Battlefield 2042. They have unfortunately received secret nerfs and I'll be putting some side-by-side -side comparison clips just to prove that. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. We're almost at 22,000 subs. You guys really popped off on yesterday's video explaining everything you need to know about the latest patch. If you have not watched that video and you want to know more about the patch, I'll link it in the description. And I'll be putting out my overall thoughts about the patch in a couple days. I'm going to need a little more playtime than what I currently have right now in the new patch. And just as a side note, all the background gameplay you're watching right now is actually on the brand new patch. So you might actually notice a lot of weapon differences just by watching the gameplay itself. Particularly with some of the accuracy of the weapons. But before we get into the main body of the video, I just want to show you guys what I was talking about with the snipers. I am almost certain that the post-patch snipers have had their rate of fire reduced. Or the attachment that I'm using, which is the long barrel, which is supposed to reduce rate of fire is actually working now and is doing its job of reducing the rate of fire of the bolt action rifle and maybe that attachment was not working properly pre-patch but either way i think the post-patch snipers definitely shoot slower than they used to so with that small detail out of the way let's get into the main body of the video and explain some of these attachments all right guys so let's get into these attachments and some really cool weapon combinations you can use with them. So if you remember the very first clip of this video, I was absolutely beaming people at 50, 60, maybe even 70 meters with the AK. And I was doing that with two of the attachments that they changed the attributes for within this update. The first one is the tactical compensator, which straight up just increases your weapon's accuracy. And its only downside is a very negligible recoil control uh, decrease. And I would argue this doesn't even matter. I did not notice any increase in recoil whatsoever. And I combine that with the BCG Light Grip, which increases aiming down sights accuracy for, a, again, a negligible decrease in hip fire accuracy, which I would also argue pretty much just doesn't matter. So the combination of these two attachments makes any gun in the game that you can do this with an absolute laser beam. And I think the first clip of this video, if, if you want to go back and just watch that again, I think the first clip proves that pretty well. Now... Why you want to use the BCG light grip over something like the LWG grip or the Cobra grip is this gives you aiming down sights accuracy regardless of your moving or if you're static. These grips only give you accuracy uh, while you're moving and not while you're static or while you're static and not while you're moving. So this gives you accuracy just for aiming down sights. It's, it's more of a consistent accuracy buff and that is why you should use it over the LWG or the Cobra grip. And if you come over here to the SCAR, the SCAR benefits off the Tactical Compensator an unbelievable amount. Uh, it changes the weapon's usability entirely. I would highly recommend checking that weapon out with it. And the SMGs are interesting after this attachment update because they're not necessarily effective or need to be effective at mid to long range. So you can do some really interesting attachment combinations with this. You can just put the Tactical Compensator on this as well, increase its accuracy as well as have better hip fire. So you can just have a more accurate weapon in every regard, no matter what. Or if you come over here with the K30, if you slap on, say, the PB Heavy Suppressor and combine it with subsonic ammunition, you can remove the hit indicator from the enemy getting shot by this weapon. If you remember in Battlefield 5, using the grease gun or any of the suppressed secondary weapons, even the M3 infrared, if you shot someone with that weapon in Battlefield 5, they would get no indicator as to what direction they're getting shot from. This is exactly what this does, and you can do it with the SWS-10 bolt-action rifle as well, which makes it incredibly powerful considering you can basically hit someone from 150 meters out and they have absolutely no idea what just hit them. So I think those attachment combinations after the patch are substantially more potent than they were before and even something on the m5 
you can slap on the BCG light grip on the M5 and keep the short barrel. So you basically have an AEK from Battlefield 4. Shoots like 860 rounds a minute and you're just more accurate all the time. It's just a, It just becomes a laser beam. Uh, they might end up changing some of this stuff, but as it stands right now, there's really no reason to not use these attachment setups. Um, the accuracy is very, very noticeable, and the downsides are, in my opinion, uh, n not noticeable at all, and they will probably make them worse further down the line, but we'll see. So, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. It really does help the channel out. Hit the subscribe button. I almost ha have 22,000 subs, beautiful subs. You guys are freaking awesome for watching all the videos. Uh, if you want to learn more about the most recent patch, I will link the most recent patch video I did in the description down below. And let me know what kind of weapon attachment setups you have figured out yourself and whether or not I should try them. I will see you guys in the next one.